Hi there, so I've been triggered. Again. <laughs> this time it was from this week's episode of the Rock Zone podcast with master trainer George Edwards talking about grip strength across the High Rocks event. When we think about it, you do need grip strength. The sled pull, the farmer's carry is all about grip. But they also mentioned the rowing stages needing grip. And trust me, it shouldn't be that big at all. Now, I know that I'm the rowing bore guy that's constantly making videos on here telling you about technique as though I'm trying to turn you all into rowers. But that's not what this is about. What this is about is looking at the rowing machine is something that isn't going to really tire out your grip strength with bearing in mind you've got the farmer's carry to come after your next run all right so what am i on about so what i see loads is that people come into the rowing machine they pick up the handle and then they just basically choke the life out of it right everything is about tension they're white knuckled on the handle okay the thumb is wrapped up over the finger everything is about just tight 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 grip and it's all so tense what should you do right all you should do is pick up the handle and hook your fingers over, okay? So if you have your fingers just as hooks, what you find is that grip strength never comes into it. In fact, if you've got your fingers hooked over the handle, you should get to a point that after rowing for like 15, 20 minutes, your fingers start to almost cramp up because they're not getting used enough. Okay, so that should be really how you should be rowing. And then, I mean, listen, there is mechanical things here that if you've got your fingers hooked over the handle with your thumbs underneath, you get a straight line of power down through your shoulders, into through your arms, into your fingers, into the handle, brace against the handle, whoosh, the machine goes fast, okay? So that's my little kind of technique part, part there. And I'm not even gonna get into the thumbs under, thumbs on, on top. But if you have your fingers hooked over the handle with your thumbs underneath, <laughs> and then you're rowing this way, you should find that your grip strength just doesn't come into the play at all on the rowing stage. And it means that your arms will be a lot fresher when it comes to the farmer's carry after your next 1K run, okay? So really think about hooking the fingers over the handle rather than choking the life out of it, okay? And that tension that you're creating from choking the life out of it, once you release it, you'll find that the rowing stage will be a much more pleasant event anyway. After all, it's only 1K, so it's just about getting in and out as fast as you can, but try and make it a much nicer event by not being so tense that you're about to pop, all right? Thank you so much for putting up with me and watching this video. Uh, if you've got any questions about rowing stage, um, then please do just get in touch. I'm here to help, all right? And of course, remember to check out the Rock Zone podcast. Row well, be well. Bye-bye.